Good morning. We're on day 13, lucky number 13 of distance learning. So today is May, uh, May the 8th, Friday. Um, just a quick reminder, don't forget to sign in on the attendance page. Thank you for those of you who do that. Um, what's most important that you're looking at is the um, email that I have sent you weekly. And the last one was the um, May the 1st, 5 the 1, that list what you have still owing me for missing projects and what missing PFAs. Most importantly that you need to note is that I have graded all of those missing projects and given you a zero. If you want to fix that, you are going to have to complete the missing project or do the replacement assignment. It depends. Um, some of you just have to turn in the missing project or just do a few things to finish it. Others completely have to um, do it um, from scratch, which I would recommend you do the replacement project for the lab. And then you have to email me that says, I'm done because you can't go to Summit and submit it, it'll say it's already graded, and it is graded, it has a zero. Um, you can either, uh, email's the best, um, remind would be the second way to communicate to me that you have finished um, an assignment. Thank you for those that have followed this instruction, um, and then I grade those pretty quickly, and then um, when you get your latest updated email, which will be coming out probably on Monday for you guys, um, that will show you where you're still standing in terms of how much more work you have to complete and the fact that you only have until the 22nd of May to get that done. Um, um, if you have a grade and you like that grade, um, then you don't have to do any more. If you don't like that grade and you want to raise it, say you, I'm giving you a D because uh, you can get a D, um, you don't want it, your parents don't want you to have it, and then you need to fix it by completing the missing work that you have and the missing PFAs that you have. Remember on PFAs, um, we are giving you, I'm giving you two tries. If you get a six or a seven, then I will just exempt it and you won't have to keep trying to get the eight. But you really notice when I exempt it, that actually can lower your grade because you don't have that many PFAs to average out to give you that 20% of your overall grade. Um, but if you're just trying, you know, I've had students go 10 times and they still get a seven, I'm saying you're done, move on to the next PFA that you need to take. But you have to have at least two attempts at six or seven before I say done, okay? And that's the, the same process with any PFA request. You have to pass the diagnostic. Use the Remind app to, to request it. If you simply request it and don't tell me, I'm not looking. I'm not sitting there wasting my time looking at the screen to see if you're requesting. You have to take the responsibility to say, Mr. Whitaker, in Remind, I'm requesting the PFA on particle behavior in three phases of matter, for example. Okay, stop doing checkpoints. They're not graded. They're a waste of your time. Only work on final products. That's it. And if you don't know what a final product is versus a checkpoint, that's sad. But in Summit, the final products have the little star. That's the only assignment you need to do. So look in Summit. What are the final products that I need? Then go to OneNote, find them. They have the same name do them. If you're doing checkpoints and submitting checkpoints, I just laugh at you because you're, you're wasting your time and you're going to run out of time and you're probably not going to pass. So you need to be aware of that. Okay, and again, for every lab, I have created a virtual replacement lab that you can do in replacement of it. Um, they're easily accomplished. Some people have been doing them real easily. Um, but in some cases, you just didn't turn it in. I had a student say, I did all this work, why isn't it graded? Well, because you didn't turn it in, and I'm going to insist that you turn it in. Now you have to email me to say it's done, because I gave you a zero, because you didn't turn it in. So figure it out, do it right, we we'll, won't have any problems.